Once a young school boy was caught in a fire accident in his school and was assumed that he would not live. His mother was told that he was sure to die for the terrible fire had devastated the lower half of his body. Even if he were to survive, he would be crippled throughout his life. But the brave boy did not want to die, nor did he want to be a cripple. Much to be the amazement of the doctor, he did survive. But unfortunately, from his waist down, he had no motor ability. His thin legs just dangled there, lifeless. Ultimately, he was discharged from the hospital. But his determination to walk was indomitable. At home, he was not in bed. He was confined to a wheelchair. One day, he threw himself from the chair and pulled himself across the grass, dragging his legs behind him. He reached the picket fence, raised himself up and then stake by stake he began dragging himself along the fence. His resolve to walk undeterred. He did this every day with faith in himself that he would be able to walk unaided. When his iron persistence and his resolute determination, he did develop the ability to stand up, then to walk haltingly, then to walk by himself, and then to run. He began to walk to school, then run to school, to run from sheer joy of running. Later, in college, he made the track team. In February 1934, in New York City, famed Madison Square Garden, this young man who was not expected to survive, who would surely never walk, who could never hope to run, this determined young man, Dr. Glenn Cunningham, ran the world's fastest mile. An epitome of the power of positive thinking and faith in one's self. Glenn Cunningham continues to be an inspiration for many and his story, a brilliant testimony to how one can bounce back even when all odds are stacked against one, to the extent that death seemed the preferable option.